These are not drums of war, but a felicitation at the Nigerian Air Force wing of the Motala Mohammed Airport, Lagos. It's the arrival of the air wing component of the military personnel deployed to enforce democracy and the rule of law in the Gambia in the wake of former President Yaya Jame's reluctance to relinquish power. On hand to receive them is the Chief of Policy and Planning, Air Vice Marshal James Boom, who represented the Chief of Air Staff alongside top officers of the command. While relaying the country's goodwill message to the troops, Air Vice Marshal James Boom applauds the gallantry of the personnel. Your cooperation and coordination with sister services as well as other friendly forces from other nations that constituted the ECOWAS mission in the Gambia are also highly commendable. We are glad that democratic order has been preserved in the Gambia and stability of the country has been sustained. On behalf of the Chief of the Air Staff and the entire Nigerian Air Force family, I want to thank you all for a job well done. The head of the contingent, Air Commander Tajuddin Yusuf, says the troop has played its role to restore democracy in the Gambia and it's now left for political leaders to ensure its sustenance. As at the time we went into the state house and the personal house of uh, former president uh, Jair Jamir, I think he was uh, actually very prepared for the war, but for the air power show that scared him, and uh, I think uh, that took control of everything. It's been three weeks since these men left for Senegal, Dakar, to enforce the ECOWAS mandate for the Gambia. Well, the mission has been adjourned successful, and now the first batch of about 20 officers and 77 airmen has arrived to the country. While the remaining of the 200 contingents are respected back in the country, the need to ensure that political and economic stability in Gambia and other parts of the ECOWAS region is protected must be given the desired attention. Chris Elams, Channels Television News.